Hello, CJP. It's Miss Emily here with a special guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi. This is B, short for Beatrice, and she's going to be helping us make challah today. First things we're going to do is we're going to wash our hands really well with soap and water. Let's do it. <laughs> so while B's washing her hands, I ah, just washed ah. mine. I'm going to show you everything we need for this recipe. I'm using the All Recipes Easy Challah Bread. This one I find to be very easy and it got great reviews. So this is what I'm gonna try. I will post this when we're all done. So the first thing you're gonna need is a big mixing bowl, three eggs, a tablespoon of melted butter, two tablespoons of honey. That was optional, but anything that's ever optional I put in. <laughs> We're gonna need a teaspoon of salt, a package of yeast, and what do we have here? Three and a half cups of flour. Perfect. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out a cup of hot water. Can you get me a measuring cup, one cup measuring cup? The hot water is gonna activate the yeast. So we're gonna activate the yeast by Stirring the yeast into a cup of hot water. Can only find half a cup. Oh, we can only find half a cup. What's that mean, B? We have to use two. We have to use two. All right, so we got our hot water going here. Whoops, that was cold water. <laughs> I'm sorry, I put that there because it was too hot. That's okay. We got our hot. We got a hot water heater, really good one. So we're gonna put in one half a cup. And B, do you want to put in the next half a cup? Two half a cup. All right, now we're going to activate our yeast. So we've got warm water here. Do you want to get a spoon? And we're going to pour in our yeast. And B, will you stir that up? So we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes until we have a nice, creamy, foamy layer on top. And that's gonna mean that our yeast is activated. So right now, it looks like this. And then we'll see what it looks like in 10 minutes. Okay. We're back and I'm about a foot taller. She got taller. So <laughs> we waited 10 minutes and it didn't bubble as much as we thought it would but we're risk takers and we're gonna go for it anyway. So it was actually more bubbly than this, but then we moved the bowl and the bubbles kind of went away. So as you can see, it's not totally bubbly, but we're gonna go for it. So the next thing we're gonna do in the directions is we're gonna add three beaten eggs. So first thing we have to do is crack and beat our eggs, which my trusty assistant B will do oh, I will. for us. I'm not good at cracking eggs. You can do it. Let's see. You're good. So if you have a little one cracking an egg like I do, you're gonna to wanna to take a clean finger and search around and make sure there's no little eggshells like that. You can't even see it. All right, B, keep crazy. going. Hey, crack harder. Oh, that, that definitely worked. All right, how are we doing over here? I don't know. Aye. Perfect. Oh, look, it missed the bowl. That's great. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to take our. My hands are all eggy. Beater, whatever that thing is called. Wait, there's no eggshell in there. Oops. There's a few in there. Told you I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Listen, no one ever died from eating an eggshell. I don't think. Don't eat eggshells. <laughs> Okay, keep it moving, girl. All right, so she's gonna, she's gonna beat those up, and we're gonna add the eggs to our bowl, and then we're gonna add this flour one cup at a time. All right, I think that's good. All right, so let's add that to our bowl. 
And feel free to pause the video anytime so that you can go with us on real time. All right, now we're gonna add our flour. We don't, we're not gonna use, we're not gonna measure out a cup, we're just gonna go spoon by spoon. So B, why don't you take a big spoon and go spoon by spoon, and we're gonna mix that in. So you, you do that part and I'll do the mixing part. Oh. If you wanna keep adding, so add another one. Perfect. Give that a couple seconds. Add another one. That's probably about a cup right there. So we'll just mix this for a few seconds. And then B, you wanna add some more? Sure. All right. Keep on going. Just gonna look at my recipe here for a second. Uh-oh. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Mm. All right. Kind of clumsy over here. That's okay. It's good to make messes, right? Yeah. B was wondering if it was a problem <laughs> that her apron was dirty, and I said, "No way! A dirty apron means a good cook." Okay. You're doing great. Keep it moving. So Ooh, we're it does we're adding. Good. Yeah, it's doing great. Look, it's happening. It's turning into dough. Okay, go ahead. This is a lot of flour. It's a lot of flour, but we're gonna have a delicious loaf of bread at the end of this to have on Shabbat. Yay. Okay, keep on adding. Wait, but Friday isn't in a long time. I know, we're gonna make this video in um, a two-part series because you're gonna need your dough to rise overnight. Go ahead. Daddy's birthday's on Friday. We can have this on his birthday. Ooh, that's a good idea. Birthday Shabbat. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else having a birthday Shabbat this week? We'll be sure to mention you in our Shabbat celebration on Friday. All right, add it. There's All right, the dough's getting there. stickier and stickier and stickier. Keep, keep it going. See, look, there's some stuff. That's okay. It's about three cups now. Three and a half. All right, B, keep on adding. All right, this looks like too much. It's not too much because it's really sticky, and you need to um, add that flour so that you can actually knead the dough, which means kind of push it. All right, keep going. You can um, you can add the rest of it. I'm just gonna get some oil. Okay. Alrighty. There's a tad more. Okay. Poured myself some oil. You're gonna need that. You forgot the oil. I forgot the oil. You forgot it. I forgot it. Oh no. What if we didn't add it? Uh -oh. <laughs> so B, while I stir, why don't you tell everybody at home what you've been doing for the past couple days to keep busy? What do you mean? What have you been doing? Uh, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, I've been doing a lot of Legos, and we, my mom, my amazing mother, Ooh. made us an amazing schedule Ooh. to keep us busy all day. Ooh, I didn't even pay her to say that. Mm -hmm. All right. But you're now, paying me? No, I'm not <laughs> paying you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead with my clean hands, and I'm, I'm actually going to take my ring off because it's going to get all flowery. And I'm going to get in here, and can I'm going to turn. That? You can do that in just okay. a second. <laughs> We're going to... Um, I love getting messy. <laughs> who doesn't love getting messy? I know. Okay, so we're going to turn the dough over a couple of times. Right? Mm -hmm. And B, you can do that now. Okay. Remember a few years ago when it was raining and like um, a, us and a bunch of neighborhood friends were all playing in the rain and we were like laying in puddles. I do. Remember that? I do remember that. <laughs> and another time when our friends from Maryland were visiting and we were playing in the mud. What made that? you think about that? Oh, yeah. getting messy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 
This is actually a little stickier than I would have liked. So should go? I add a little more? Yeah, we're going to have to get a little more flour. It's kind of sticking to my hands. It's okay to be a little sticky, but... It's pretty sticky. All right. So I'm going to kind of grab it and drop it really hard into the bowl. I need to bring my, what, my extra one foot. And I'm going to just get out all the air bubbles. Right? I'll punch it a little bit. I got dough on everything since I have dough stuck to And my I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny oh. bit of flour onto our dough. Just a tiny bit so it's not so sticky. And B, will you... On my hand. <laughs> okay, well now it's on here. So, no, you're good. Okay. Now just get in there and kind of... Pick it up and drop it. <laughs> and pick it up and drop it. And pick it up and drop it. Pick it up, drop it. Pick it up, drop it hard. Yeah, drop it hard. Yes, harder. Lift it up higher. <laughs> good. I can see the flower going everywhere. All right. Okay. We're good to go. So here's my dough. I'm going to make it into a nice round shape. Some extra that was oh, the thank you. And I'm just reading my recipe here. So it's in a nice round, that goes in the sink. Okay. It's in a nice round um, shape. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in a very large bowl. What about all that? So that. <laughs> so B just asked me about the honey and the butter. And it didn't say to add the honey and the butter yet, which is weird <laughs> because they said it was optional and we opted for yes. But they never told us. And they to never it. told us to put it in. So um, we're going to leave it out, unfortunately, because it's already into a dough and I don't want to ruin it. Um, and who knows, maybe when we get further down in the recipe, it's going to ask us to put it in. Yeah. We'll just have to see. So, we're going to not look at that for a second. We are going to put it into a big, huge pot. I'm covered in dough. <laughs> dough finger. And actually, you could, um, you, could do, you could make two doughs. And one dough could be for making hala, and the other dough could be for... Playing. I, can I play anything? It could be a sensory activity. Okay, so I'm gonna get a paper towel. We're not gonna play with this one, no. And I'm gonna take my towel and I'm gonna dip it into oil. So I've got a lot of oil here on. And I'm gonna take my pot and I'm gonna kinda take my paper towel and I'm gonna go around the pot. They can't see. Oh with my paper towel. And then I'm gonna, this is so the dough doesn't stick to your pot. And then I'm gonna put my dough into the pot. And then, can you put that in the sink for me? Yeah. I'm gonna cover the dough with a damp cloth. So I'm gonna get myself a damp cloth. So much dried dough on my fingers. Yeah, it's kind of messy. I'm gonna take my cloth, I'm gonna wet it. And we're gonna put that right on top of our dough. So it looks like that. Which is just the cloth, that's why it's wrinkly. And I'm gonna let this rise in a warm area until it's doubled in size. They think a half an hour to one hour should be good. 
So we'll check back here tonight and see what's going on. Hello, welcome back. It's been about an hour. Bee's eating dinner and we're ready to braid the holla. So let's take a look at what happened in the last hour. Our holla dough doubled Whoa. in size. That did grow. And it's now this big. It's about double the size that it was before. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it on a flowered cutting board. So I'm this gonna take some flour. That really did grow. You like that? That is amazing. Would you say it's about two times the size that it was before? Yeah, totally. Okay. So we're gonna put some flour on our cutting board. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab it. And good thing we Whoa. oiled the pan because um, it even stuck a little bit with the oil. Um, okay. Oh, by the way, um, at the end of our lesson last video, um, you know, B realized that the honey and the salt hadn't been used yet. So we took a chance, because we're risk takers, and we went back and um, added the honey and the salt after the dough was formed. You're actually supposed to add those things before, but right when you add the um, eggs to the mixture. Uh, mixture of yeast and water. And so we'll see what happens. Okay, <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is, I'm following my recipe here, we this are going to punch to down the dough. Ooh, so wow, the, wow, you strong. I'm gonna take a turn punching and then I want you to punch it. <laughs> I'm not as strong as you. You're good. That, that didn't work. All right. Nope, you're good. And actually, the dough is really beautiful yeah, and smooth. Great. And you would never know that we added the honey and the salt at the last minute. Hopefully, it tastes as good as it looks. So, I've got our dough here. And I hope you can see that. I'm actually going to prop this little... Sorry, Sorry about that. We're not going to do that anymore. All right, so we've got our dough here. We're going to cut it into three equal sections. B, do you know why we're cutting it into three equal sections? Because it takes three parts to braid. braid. That's right, <laughs> because we've got to braid it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to put these two sections aside. Do we need aside. to use the pasta maker to roll it out? <laughs> no. We're gonna use our hands to roll it out. So B, I'm gonna put a little <laughs> more flour on there. And I want you to start rolling it out. <laughs> and they said to make it about as thick as your thumb. Oh, wow. I know. So we're actually, we're probably gonna have to take it off of the cutting board and maybe use um, just the counter. And I'm gonna go ahead and help you get it. I'm not that good at that. <laughs> you are good at it. I just want to save some time. Yes. And actually, this cutting board is not working for us. Don't worry, our, our uh, counter here is very clean. But I'm going to go ahead and just put it right on the counter. Yes, we like washed it three times. <laughs> and today, we'll start Wait, we rolling this out. Three times today. Because once this morning, then when it was chore time, and then before we started. Right. Yeah, we keep things very clean around here, especially yes. in these times Days. of sickness and all yes. sorts of stuff going around. We really want to keep our surfaces clean, clean, right? So we're making our rope here. Wow, wow that is very long. It is supposed to be. It's way, it's way thicker than our thumb, but it's also supposed to be 12 inches. So we're just going to keep it like this. And I'm going to take the camera here and I'm going to show you what that looks like. See, not as thick as my thumb. Okay. And then we're going to do that three times. So I'll be right back after we have our three ropes rolled. Okay, we're back. We've got three... <laughs> Uh, wormies, as we <laughs> like to call them in this house. They look like this. Wormies. Wormies. And we're going to start braiding those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them vertically. And actually, i got to fix my phone here. 
so that you can see. And B, I'm actually going to ask you to help um, help me over here. If you could come okay. over here and hold our phone. You're going to hold it against the holder here. You've got to put your hands oh. right on the phone, actually. Perfect. All right, so I got my wormies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them at the top. Like, and if you could. Perfect, perfect. Sorry, perfect. if it's a little Nope, wrong. you're good. So I'm gonna connect the three at the top, just like this, okay? And then I'm gonna start braiding. So we're gonna go over, and then over. So what you do if you don't know how to braid is you take the outside piece and you fold it over the middle piece. I'm just gonna tighten that up here. So I take my outer piece and I fold it over, 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 over. And actually, this is very long in my opinion. So I'm actually going to I'm gonna cut my ends off, and I think I'm gonna make uh, two, two yeah, no. hollows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife, and don't tell my husband Steve that I'm doing this right on the counter. He will not like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'll that side again. <laughs> he's supposed to be on a cutting board. I'm gonna cut those ends off. Let me turn it a little this way. This way? Mm -hmm. Perfect, so I cut those ends off. And I'm going to really connect these at the bottom here, like this. Yeah, that is pretty long. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm supposed to put the hala on a baking sheet with parchment paper. Unfortunately, I did not read ahead, and I don't know if I have parchment paper, so let me go take a look real quick. I'll be right back. Ah. Do we? Empty. Empty. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We are gonna improvise. Will that burn? Use my trusty Pam spray. I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna spray my. A million times. My pan here with Pam. I'm going to do it nice and thick just so that it doesn't stick. And I'm going to put it nicely on my pan. Now, what I'm going to do, turn it down a little bit, holding on to the bone. Yep. I'm going to tuck the ends under so it looks nice and pretty. Ooh, that does look and there I've got my, I'm going to slide it over here. <laughs> I've got my one roll right there. And then I'm going to do it again. Now these are a little bit shorter. Just going to mash that up there. So I'm going to connect my tops. And this one will be a little smaller, but that's okay. And I'm just going to start braiding. I like my braid to be nice and tight. Okay, and you can definitely have your kids help you on this. I would definitely have B helping me if she wasn't being such an amazing camera person. Mm -hmm. I'm usually the camera person <laughs> with me and Audrey when we're playing. So I'm going to fasten the bottoms like that. I'm going to kind of fluff it up here. I'm going to put it on my pan. Tiny little baby. And I'm going to... Make sure that I've got it all together here. I'm going to tuck my end underneath and tuck this end underneath. And again, one is bigger than the other. And I'm gonna get my egg wash ready because we're gonna wash this with egg and then do some magic on top. Be right back. All right, we're back, and we got a new cameraman. Who is it? My dad, her husband. Steve. <laughs> All right, we've got our hollas here. One is bigger than the other. That's okay. 
just check on them while they're baking and make sure they're not baking, make sure the little one's not baking more than the big one. And we've got our egg wash here. It's um, an egg beaten into just a liquid form. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a brush and dip it and do your hollows. So B, will you do the honors? Yeah, just, I don't know how much. To That's fine, and just brush it on, perfect. Is that good for the little Yeah, one? just make sure to get the sides here so you've got the whole thing. Maybe dip it one more time. Perfect. All right, and then let's do the big one. That's gonna need a little more. That's gonna need more, so make sure you really get that nice and wet. Oh, wow. Yeah, good, you're okay. And now go kind of, kind of make sure you're going with each of the, the direction of each thing. Oh. So you go that way, and then that way, and then that way, and then that way. <laughs> All right, so we are good. And um, we're gonna experiment with the little one here, the little runt of our litter. And I got some cinnamon sugar because my kids, I wanted to put everything seasoning on here, but my kids aren't gonna eat that. <laughs> so I'm gonna use something I know that they will eat, which is sugar. So B, will you sprinkle that lightly on top of the little one? To do that. It's all right. Do perfect, I... that's okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That looks lovely. Can even do a little more because who doesn't like a lot of sugar? All right, so we've got our hollas here, one plain, one cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. It's uh, at 350 degrees and we're gonna go for about 30 minutes and we'll see what happens. See you soon. Hello, we are back. I got a new partner in crime here. Who's this? Can you introduce yourself? That's Zachary. <laughs> Bee's here, freshly bathed and ready for bed. But before bed, we are gonna try our hala. So we've got our cinnamon, cinnamon uh, sugar hala. A normal hala. And we've got our beautiful Pig. normal hala. So I'm going to, which one do you guys wanna taste? This one. Can I try one. both? Yeah, absolutely. Both. All right, so Zach wants the cinnamon and sugar. I want both. So there's the cinnamon and sugar for you guys. I'm gonna try a little piece too because gotta try it. Gotta try some in your life. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. good. Really can't, good? Can't taste the cinnamon, but okay. Can't taste the cinnamon? Well, that's good. I can. I didn't get a piece of cinnamon. And let's try the normal one too. It tastes just kind of like a churro. Like a churro? Yeah, well, that's cinnamon. All right, guys, let's try the um, plain one. And then we can finish. Ah, it's hot. Mm. The plain one's hot. Mmm, so yummy. Mm. My best critic here. Well, I hope you enjoyed making challah with us. We mm. sure enjoyed making challah with you. Happy baking and Shabbat Shalom. Make sure to subscribe and join our follows. Put <laughs> on.